Video analytics is a favorite target of skeptical reporters and analysts. Much of the blame belongs to the vendors themselves, who have a history of overhyping the capabilities of the technology. While it is true that it takes some care to deploy and calibrate analytics, and false positives will plague even the best systems, some vendors are trying to tamp down the hype and instead position analytics as a tool that has both tactical and strategic value in a network security environment. At As Is International in Dallas, Security Squared visited with several analytics players to look at the ways analytics, combined with video management, create a strong value proposition. Until now, analytics have sort of been like a burglar alarm, in the sense that all they provided was the real-time alarming function, which is very valuable, but that's not all that analytics can do. Analytics can help security professionals do a better job of investigating crimes, it can help them do a better job of allocating storage capacity to the most important video and saving storage capacity in the least important video. And so what Video IQ has done is we've created a vision where we want analytics to be a standard part of the system. Just as power steering is a standard part of your car, a radio is a standard part of your car, intelligence should be a standard part of your surveillance system. So rather than having to search through hours of video linearly to investigate an event, why not have intelligence serve up the video where people are present or where vehicles are present or where a loitering alarm was violated and that's what video analytics can do when it's applied not just to the real-time video but to the stored video as well. Applying analytics to stored video can remove a troublesome catch-22. Analytics systems generally require users to define in advance the specific events, such as a person crossing a perimeter or a vehicle left on the street, that would trigger an alarm. The drawback is that you have to decide ahead of time what you want the system to look for. VI Search, launched at As Is by Agent VI, allows users to find events that have not been preset as rules. And the way that this is done is we are analyzing the video as it's being recorded by the video management system, but we're not trying to detect any predefined rules. Rather, we're collecting as much information as we can and storing it in the form of metadata into a database, what we call a video index. Once that data is in the database, it then becomes searchable through our search server. So we start by selecting the cameras that we want to search. We'll pick these two. We can search any numbers of, uh, of cameras uh, concurrently. Next, we select the time window that we want to search, so we can go back by minutes, days, months. We select the object type. It can be person, uh, vehicle, or object. We can filter for specific behaviors, such as moving, uh, uh, crossing a line, occupancy, or crowding. And then we hit the search button. So the query that we defined now goes into our search server which looks at that video index and find match, finds matches. And these matches are sent back to the client, which then goes to the video management system and retrieves these uh, snapshots. So each snapshot represents a specific event that meets our query criteria. We can now look at these, and whenever we see uh, something that may be relevant, all we need to do is click on it, and this will immediately retrieve the relevant video recording. So as an efficiency and time-saving tool, this is incredibly important. Again, replacing the need to manually review hours and hours of video. Applying analytics to stored video is just one way vendors are integrating analytics with video management. VMS supplier DVTEL, which earlier this year acquired analytics supplier IOImage, demonstrated ways analytics can integrate with VMS functions, including this 3D Google Earth application. So what you see right now is in one application, you can see the map with the information on the layer of the maps, and you can see the alarms with the description of why alarm happened, and any additional information, you can configure different actions. So by having a unified solution, by having analytics and DVTEL, the, the NVMS, the video solution, tied together and running together on the same, as a, as a single solution, we can provide benefits to the user, such as creating different actions. And you can see here, this is just 
uh, an output relay based on analytic event. So there is an analytic event, we can change output relays by having other integrations running on the same, uh, on the same platform. We can create access control actions based on analytic event. We can, uh, we can change analytic events based on access control actions, LPR actions and events. So it's a one complete solution and providing under one roof of the Latitude and VMS. We have a number of custom applications that we've designed that expand the power of what you can do with analytics. So one of them that we just showed you was the application for Google Earth mobile devices through the iPad. We also have uh, additional applications that we call scene stitching, where we can stitch one to five cameras together and create a panoramic view, all tied into video analytics so that the operator who's sitting there looking at the screen sees one panoramic view and can track an individual from one camera through the fifth camera without doing any switching. But there can be more to analytics than security. The technology can be used for people counting and other business performance metrics, as shown by this object video app, now sold by Cisco. So what we're showing here is a counting suite that allows us to count how many people have been standing specifically here at the Cisco booth and for how long. So with those analytics, we can figure out how many people came between the hours of 9 and 10 o'clock and 10 and 11 o'clock and figure out where the lull is. Obviously, you can see overnight not a lot of people were at the booth, but during the day we had some pretty big spikes. Using this software, we can also figure out how long people were standing at the booth. Using analytics like that, we can figure out which booth here at the show was most effective. Were people spending their most time here at the analytics booth, over at maybe iPix or Access Control or maybe Video Surveillance? And from that information, we can figure out what people were most interested in. Instead of having a counter or a clicker, we can do it all in software and then receive that metadata on the back end. The buzzword, especially in the European market, is business intelligence. And uh, that is really, uh, it's uh, counting people is a typical application that's part and parcel, uh, just an adjunct of really what analytics does and does well. And in fact, uh, our most recent uh, uh, model, the metric manager has an easy count model, which is a plug and play on edge device that we use with the access platform, the access camera platforms. Um, that now suddenly puts us into the arena of operational logistics and how someone manages their business and how they make their business more efficient and more profitable and, and much more responsive to the consumer, which at the end of the day means the company is more successful. This is Stephen Titch reporting for Security Squared. And this will immediately retrieve